Hey everybody, it's Marilyn Brown. I'm speaking a little more softly than usual because my voice is still recovering from a summer cold that I caught. I guess that's what happens when you travel, but that's one of the perks of being a VIP kid teacher is I have flexibility to go wherever, but of course there are new germs when you go to a new place. So that happened. So I wanted to give you a tour of where I'm moving my classroom to now. You may have seen in a previous video where I moved from our guest room in our home to my son's nursery when we were gonna try to move him into his older brother's room. That didn't end up panning out. So he's back in his own room and I am back in the guest room. But as you can see, it is literally a guest room. Um, let me turn the camera around and kind of show you the setup. I've got this little desk. So previously I would teach turning this desk 90 degrees and utilizing this bookshelf as my backdrop. When I first moved into this classroom, I actually placed my Dollar Tree map in a frame right next to this bookshelf. Um, but then I created a different space and that was my previous video. You can see a clip right here um, in what was my son's nursery. But let me be real with you, when I made my Dollar Tree background with the black felt, I completely fell in love with it. And so I really miss having that. And when I was talking to my husband, trying to figure out what can we do to create a backdrop that I will be happy with, but that we don't have to completely make our guest room look like a home office. No, it doesn't even look like, a home. right now it looks like a home office guest room. What can we do to create a versatile backdrop that we can get out of the way when we have guests because tacking it up on the wall was great when it was only for me to use but for example two weeks ago my mom flew in and stayed here for 10 days and it wouldn't have been like pretty for her to have to look at my backdrop for 10 days and not touch it and not have the kids mess with it so the solution I came up with is to do something I've seen other teachers do now some use giant easels to put up a trifold or a poster board. Some simply drape a shower curtain up over a rod or just curtains up over a curtain rod. And that's super convenient. But what I actually got for my birthday was this two tier garment rack from Walmart. And so what I'm hoping to be able to do is hang up that black felt that I had, adjust the height to where I want it, and then be able to create the same backdrop effect that I had. I wanna be able to do that now, but have it be a little more versatile and meet the needs for my home. And if you can hear it, I do have a little bit of a scratchy voice. Sorry for those of you who are vocalists and you're just listening to my voice like, oh, she's got some vocal fry and here she is pushing through. I apologize. I am actually going to write a blog post and then create a video once my voice is fully recovered about vocal cord care because as an online teacher, it is essential. Okay, so the sun went behind a cloud outside, so if my lighting has changed, that's why. All right, so here it is. Mainstays adjustable two-tier rolling garment rack. No tools required. All right, let's pop this open and see how it goes. Go ahead and lay out everything and see what we've got. That's a pleasant sound. I literally just want the instructions. Okay, I mean obviously I'm going to do a time lapse of me that you don't have to sit here and watch me read this. I mean there really aren't even that many pieces, so let me just go ahead and get started. I don't know the best way to film this. This is all a little awkward. It's okay though, right? This really is pretty easy to put together. Okay, let's see what's next here. So I wasn't even supposed to do this. As you can see, I've made some progress here. Um, I just have a few more steps to complete, so bear with me. Side note, I'm probably not gonna put the wheels on the bottom of this because it's actually gonna just be easier for me on the carpet to lift the entire thing and walk it over to the wall rather than try to wheel it over. The top of it is way up there, um, but if I loose these buttons here, right, then whatever backdrop I create can then be lowered. Ooh, and then these are adjustable, remember. I need it wider to hold more and I can go ahead and lower that 
for my seated classroom. If and when I figure out how to lift my computer up off of the desk or if I just move my camera, um, I'll be able to have a standing desk and that will be as easy as lifting that up and I can have a standing desk. That was actually fairly easy to put together. Really straightforward. Um, but now comes the actual backdrop. Okay, let me go ahead and lower this down to about where I think it should be. Is that out of frame? So if you guys remember, I created that backdrop with black felt and then these dollar store and Walmart finds. If you entered my giveaway or won the giveaway, you have a set of these. Um, and actually, these are not on clearance at Walmart. The last time I went to the party section, I saw these rainbow palms there. So if you want to get yourself a set, they're less than three bucks. Super cute. So I have my black felt. So I'm still here, I promise. Let me staple one side in place and then I'll be right with you. Okay, hey, so I'm going to safety pin it in the middle and then get my steamer so that I can get these wrinkles out. I'm going to do a little plug here for this amazing little steamer that I got off Amazon. I actually found it from a different vlogger that I follow. Super easy to use. You literally just put water in here. You take the head off when it's cool, obviously. Um, there's one little button on the side you press and plug it in and steam starts coming out. So I love this. I have actually been using it instead of ironing things since we got it. It has been a lifesaver. Highly recommend. I will link it below. Um, but I'm going to use it now to steam out the wrinkles for this backdrop. Okay, so I have some safety pins and I'm actually just going to pin my... Okay, great. I guess I need to untangle this. I don't even have to waste a safety pin because I can tie the strings around the garment rack. So one less thing. That's great. Okay, so do you remember how I used masking tape on my wall and then hot glued things onto that masking tape. That hack works really well. If you're worried about messing your walls up and not wanting to do anything permanent, that hack actually works. And um, I was hoping to do like a step-by-step -step tutorial, but I'll just link one that I found below. I mean, it's literally as easy as it sounds. I was able to use gaffer tape, which my husband had left over because he worked in the film industry and just had some in his bag. But it's not really all that different. It's paper tape. So it's very similar to masking tape. It's a little bit thicker. So painter's tape actually might be a really good alternative. I did use that method in my last video, but I failed to record it. So I'll link the Pinterest pin I found um, that had this hack. So I'll link that below as well. I could literally just tie these up like this. And where you tie it is going to determine how much drape you get. So let me see. <laughs> to hold up my mirror because I can't see. I don't have a monitor with this camera. Cute. Okay, so I need that up a little higher. And then I need to do my paper flowers and my name tag. Okay, so I have my pom-poms here. You know what, let me, um, let me open up my camera settings so I can see how this looks. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so these are my Dollar Tree paper flowers. Uh, you get two per pack, um, but I'm going to go ahead and use safety pins, and this one has a ribbon on the back of it, so I can put the safety pin through that, or I can put it through the paper itself. But let me see. Based on this, it's an awkward angle. Okay, I've got my safety pins. Let's get started. I was thinking I needed to go through the back, but I can go right through the front. Right through the ribbon, right onto my backdrop. Okay, so I have my webcam up. You can see the actual, what my students will see. Um, very similar to how I set it up in my previous video. And that was, I mean, that was really pretty easy. I love felt because it appears really flat on the screen. Um, super versatile because it's fabric. Okay, as you can see, um, I've got my guest room back as a guest room. Um, and obviously I'm wearing something completely different. Uh, it's a different day because at the end of the last video, I 
that camera turned off and this sound wasn't recording. So I get to do the end of this video over. So here we are. Hi. Welcome to the technological advancement of 2019 that I don't have a handle on. So there you go. Um, all right. So the movable backdrop that I created is right over there. And I'm just going to grab it and swing it on over here so you can see how easy it truly is to set up my classroom in the morning. It's right over there. Let me go get it. Welcome to my classroom. <laughs> Hi. Uh, one little addition I got here is a dino on a Filipino flag. It's not in focus currently, um, at least on here. It might be on there. All right, so here we are. You're in my classroom. If I wanted to show more of these colors, all I need to do is lift this up a hair. And there they are. Isn't that amazing? Um, it really has held up as far as how light this is because I used felt and paper flowers and little yarn pom-poms. Nothing on here is too heavy. You don't wanna go overboard. I mean, it's a garment rack, so it's actually pretty sturdy and um, holds up really well. I think you could use like any kind of felt or cloth decorations. Um, don't go crazy in the Target dollar spot. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to me, honestly. You could switch it up. It's literally like safety pins holding things up, tied this to the garment rack itself. So simple, so easy, so versatile. Please keep sharing. Let me know in the comments if you use a mobile or convertible background that you can just move out of the way, or if yours is a more permanent fixture in your home. What do you prefer? Tell me why, I wanna know. Let's get the conversation going. Um, also in the comments, you can always let me know what else you'd like to see. Oh, okay, I just realized what I wanna do. I'm gonna challenge you right now to go down into the comments below and leave me a link to a picture of your backdrop. I wanna know what yours looks like. Um, maybe I can do like a compilation video of ideas for new teachers or people that just wanna mix things up because I know that we always wanna mix things up. Well, I say we, but I know there's also like a vast group of people who are like, don't touch my backdrop. It's a Dollar Tree poster. I pack it in my suitcase and then I'm off to Milan, darling. I wanna know what your backdrop is like. Give me all the hacks. Send me your links. I want to see. If this video has helped you out in any way, please share it with your teacher friends. Make sure to click that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Please stay tuned and hit that notification bell so that when I finally get things edited and uploaded, you'll be notified that it's ready to watch. Happy teaching, fam! Do -do -do.